Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Robin Mills. Welcome to Humanity's Heart. I hope that today we engage, expand and energise your heart in some way. That's my intention for us. I'd like to introduce to you someone that I've known for over a decade, Raywin Weller, and she's from the Bay of Plenty in New Zealand. She's written a book. It's called Your Health is Your Greatest Wealth, and it's your journey to a vibrant, healthy mind and body. And I can't wait to talk to you about your book, Raywin. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me on your Great show, Robin. It's great to see you again. We go back a long way. We do go back a long way. And um, between radio and now the internet, um, life's really easy that we can communicate this way across the ditch. It does. It's, it's amazing, really. And it's, I think it's been a lifesaver for a lot of people over this crazy epidemic that we've had um, worldwide and it's been a lifesaver where we can help people online and talk to people and get them through their issues yeah now Ray when tell me when it where did the book come from how long have you had that book inside you waiting to come out mm -hmm. most probably most of my life Robin it took me two years to create I'll show you a copy it's actually been an amazing one and it actually feels like a healing book it's got a very smooth um fluffy cover and um it's yeah it was inside of me and coming out for many years it's a it's a combination of all of the different people I've studied worked with and clients and family because I believe that we learn from everybody it doesn't matter who it is, the little child or the 90-year-old. Um, we learn from everybody. And I've taken so much wisdom from so many other people. Thank you, everybody. Um, and ridden on the backs of many people. And I've put it in common sense um, in this book. And when your daughters actually tell you that it's common sense, good reading, that's something. Because they are um, very well educated as well. And... They don't say things like that unless it is. I love the cover. It's actually a really beautiful book. I love the rainbow, how the rainbow comes up like an ombre over the book. It's really beautiful. It's very bright and vibrant. I love colour. Colour is so important in our lives. And I see so many people dressed in just black lately. And, and it tells me what's happening in their day just by seeing the colours they're wearing and, and the glow on them. Mm. Colour is a healing, very healing. And I used to wear black all the time, all the time. And now Most people I think almost they look thinner. Yes, that's exactly why I wore it. Mm. But I never mm. wear black now. It's interesting, cool. isn't it? I just That's love great. colour too. And I create humanity's heart, which is bright and vibrant and full of colour. So um, colour really resonates with me. And the book cover is certainly um, glowing with vibration. What sort of yes. things is covered in the book, Raywin? Oh, wow. It, it's a working book, Robin. And it's, it's basically, it starts off with the understanding of the mind how we form habits, how, and the main message in it is the words that you say and the pictures you create in your mind create your life. And that is something that just is repeated. It was quite funny because one of my daughters said to me, oh, I thought, oh, she's repeating herself here. And then all of a sudden it says in the book, yes, I'm repeating myself because this is one of the most important things you need to get from it. Um, it, there's everything from relationships, self-esteem, which is hitting a lot of people lately. There's a lot yeah. of low self-esteem, how to control stress, um, music in your life, how to teach you how to use a pendulum, talks about crystals. Um, there's a little bit of um, Inner Seagull and Louise Hay have been very prominent in my life. So I've used their books as, as Bibles. We've got a little bit about them and their work. Um, a bit about food, how sugar is poison to us. You know, I've got a teaspoon with a, oh, 
oops, I just dropped the book, with a cross on it um, <laughs> saying, ah, don't do it, don't go there, it's not good. And, and flowers even, uh, a type of sugar it turns into carbohydrates and it's not good for you. Fats, different fats. Um, so, yeah, how to clear yourself, um, how to protect yourself from energies. You go into supermarkets, into um, public places these days, there's so many different energies around, and some of us take them on if we don't protect <laughs> ourselves, put that little bubble around us. Yes. Meditation and music. Music is medicine. I love it. I've got a, a, a cool one thing in here, I've got a butterfly right through it, and there's sayings all the way through the book. There's quotes from amazing people. Um, so it's, um, I'll find it and I'll show you. A little about chakras. Um, chakras are our body's energy centers, and if they're out of alignment, well, then, hey, yeah. So it's a really big mix. Mm -hmm. A really big mix of things in there. Um, I was trying to think what I was looking for. What was it? Oh, the music. Can you see the? Can you see the picture there? Yes. That's music. Pour, yeah, it's being poured into your hand out of a pill bottle. <laughs> so it's just like music is medicine. Yeah. Oh, that is great. So Ray, when so I try, like, it just sounds like it's. Um, easy to read and easy to understand, but incredibly powerful message. Well done. Very. I have so many people come to me for more books. Once they've got one, they want to give one to someone else or for another friend or relation. Okay. Or yeah, and it's so it's amazing. And I've got people here. I work voluntarily at a healing center in, in Fokitani. Um, it's amazing how life works. I always put it out there. I wanted a healing center and I wanted a waterfall with it. And I always used to think that I needed to own a piece of land with a waterfall on. And, and I had all these great visions of bringing the children I've worked with in India over to help work in it and things. And all of a sudden I'm in Fogatani, New Zealand. The old courthouse has been, is, been given to the community to use as a multicultural healing center. And we have people from Europe come here because I've heard of it. And I work on it voluntarily there. But guess what? Not far around the road is a waterfall, which used to be <laughs> the town's water supply. Of course it beautiful. is. <laughs> so I've got my healing center and I can use it anytime I want. And we have some amazing people come through it. Isn't it wonderful that you got what you wanted, but you didn't get the responsibility of having to provide it. Yeah. It was already mm. there waiting for you. Yeah. So when I let go of that wanting this piece of land and I'm needing this so much money to do it, etc., when I let it go, all of a sudden something came to me one day and it said, you don't have to own it. I said, okay, well, it'll come to me when, it, when it's ready. Just like I say, everything comes to me when I need it. Money, love, I'm, I'm just abundant with everything, good health. Um, and because I keep saying it, the words that you say, yes, I'm repeating myself, the words that you say and the pictures you create in your mind create your life. Oh, that and is so true. Yeah. One of um, Daniel Amin, he's a, a brain surgeon. He's got a big center, the Armin Center in, in the US. And I've studied him over the years and I've got videos. I love him. And he says we need to get rid of those ants, automatic negative thoughts that we have in our head. We think the same things over and over and over and we believe them. That's the biggest problem is most people actually believe what's going on in their head. Question it. Ask it if it's true. Exactly. That's exactly. I love the ants analogy because it's so true mm. that where um, negative thoughts can easily undo um, a day that could be full of joy and love and peace and mm -hmm. abundance and all those things. How many times yeah. have I in my life perhaps 
um, lied awake thinking about what someone said or what someone didn't say, uh-huh. you know, and wasted a whole night's sleep. And the next day, yeah. you know, those negative yeah. thoughts, yes, we do need to get rid of the ants, that's for sure. Yeah. We hold on to too much, Robin. It seems to be one of the hardest things for people to do is let go and forgive or forgive and then let go. We hold on to anger, which affects your liver. Everything we think and do and say affects our body one way or another. And when you're holding on to baggage, that baggage can get heavy. It's just like this glass of water. You know, I can hold this here and it doesn't feel very heavy. But if I held it for an hour or a day, it's going to be weighing me down. So when you hold on to that, I call it crap, uh, that baggage, we're only hurting ourselves. We're not hurting the other person. They don't even know what's happening. So just forgive, let go and move on in life. It's too short to live in the past. It's It's absolutely Absolutely too short to live in the past. So, Ray, when I'd like to ask some questions about who you are in the world, you know, who if, am I in this world? If you were to, I look- often ask myself the same question, Robin. <laughs> I um, basically, I in, in my book, and I always tell people I'm a graduate of the School of Life. I've learned from everyone and everything, so. Um, I walk my talk and my mission in life is to help people to help themselves, give them tools, hence writing this book. This is a tool to help you to help yourself. Yeah. And, and I have got a, um, a Facebook page called Your Health is Great as well. So anyone's welcome to go there and ask if they can join. Okay. And I need to approve you because I don't want, I don't want people in there st- doing and putting political things, and it's it's there yeah. for good, yeah. healthy living, helping people to, to yeah. help themselves. So yes, I believe I'm here to help as many people as possible. But I've learned very much the most important thing is to help yourself first, because you've got to be a little selfish every now and then. Because if you mm-hmm. don't Stay healthy. How on earth can you help others? If you don't love yourself, yeah. how can you give love to others or expect others to love you? If you don't like who you are, why should anyone else? That's so true, isn't it? So true. Mm. So yeah. if you were to look back over your life, Raywin, how would your heart mm. say you've lived your life? Oh, I've had an amazing life. Okay, I had my issues when I was a teenager. You know, I um, I set a little bit of sexual abuse there when I was 10 years old and 14, but I never held on to it. Um, a lot of the people that I'm dealing with now, things that have, had, have happened to them as a child, said to them, done to them, it's affecting them. Right up into the 80s, I've had people. And okay, yes, there are some things that have held me back. I never had a self, a high self-esteem when I was a teenager, or even, even in my 20s and 30s. I was getting out there and I was doing things, but I never, I always felt there were people better than me. No one's better than anybody. You are who you are. There's no... You know, people might think that someone in a, on the streets is, um, okay, that's how they choose to live. Yeah. There's a lot of handouts, especially in New Zealand these days. Um, there, there is so much help if you choose to accept it. Um, and it might sound a little harsh, but we do create our lives. So I'm really quite happy because I've learned from the things that have happened to me and my mistakes. Hey, we're not human if we don't make mistakes. And I think realising that we're actually human beings and not human doings <laughs> yeah. is a major. You know, yeah. We need to be and, and let, let things happen. 
when we when we try and force something to happen it moves further away from you i've got a really good story in my book about my mother um I could tell stories all day. How long have we got, Robin? <laughs> I love listening to your stories. Go ahead. Mum had an ulcer on her leg in her early 80s. And she'd been going to the doctor's office every second day from February right through to October, having it dressed. And I'd go and see her or I'd call her and say, hi, Mum, how are you going? And she's, oh, I'm great, thank you. But this leg of mine won't go away. It won't get better, okay? Anyway, she came to live with me in the October. We had Alzheimer's setting in, which I'm sorry that I didn't actually see coming earlier, but we dealt with it. And I said, okay, mum, we're going to turn this around. If anyone asks you how you are, tell them how you feel, but don't mention your leg. And if they ask you how your leg is, tell them it's getting better and better every day. I opened it up, let a bit of sunshine on it, cleaned it up with colloidal silver. And mum, it was quite cute hearing her say, gee, it's getting better and better every day. It was gone in six weeks. Wow, that's amazing. So we actually hold on to things. It's like a headache. Oh, 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 my head. If you keep thinking of it and saying, I've got a headache, or if you call something mine, you're owning it, you're wanting it, it will stay there. If you've got a headache, drink water. Nine times out of 10, you're dehydrated. And the other thing is rub your big toe, the ends of your big toe, and they'll be sore. So I've had many a people I've visited and they've had a headache and I've done that to them. And they're going, ow! I said, dear, stop your grizzling. It's not as bad as your headache, is it? <laughs> and the headaches are gone in ten, five, 10 minutes. Mm. Yeah. So that truly is such a beautiful example of how our thoughts create our reality and oh, how that negative, so the ant, so. how the ant just keeps rolling on and rolling on and rolling on. You're saying to your body, it's not going to heal, then it's not going to heal. It's not going to heal. And, and I say, like I said, it's angry people, it affects their liver, just like alcohol and, and things do too. But Sore hips is usually all about moving forward in life. Most people getting sore hips, their kids are left, they're living together, you know, a couple are living together or they're worrying about the future. Or how, how are we going to live together now? We're starting to retire. We haven't had to stay in the same house all this time. We went to work, you know, and they start worrying about the future. How are we going to survive? How are we going to live the life we did without that income? And their hips get sore. I had it happened to me, I left my husband in 2000 and I had sore hips. And I was given Louise Hayes' book and I read up and thought, it's all about moving forward. So I changed my thinking. There's nothing wrong with my hips now. I can lie on the floor and put my feet over to the floor, at the, over my head. So, and I'm in my 70s. So, you know, you can live healthy if you choose to. That's pretty amazing for you to be that flexible at um, in your 70s. I work on it. And in fact, day. I have to say, Ray, when that you're looking younger all the time, which is amazing. I've had that said to me a few times lately. Yeah, which thank you. I'll, I'll accept that compliment. Younger. Yeah, I can see that. It's because you've got so much life in your um, heart and in your face. I can see it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I don't get sore shoulders. So people with sore shoulders are usually carrying the world on their shoulders. Yeah. People with sore knees, usually a little stubborn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> people actually, nah, not me. And then all of a sudden they sit and say, yeah, I suppose I am really. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ray, when I guess living in the most beautiful place, the Bay of Plenty, that you walk on that beach, is that a meditation oh. for you? Oh, yes. Walking bare feet on the beach or on the grass. We've got where I live, we've got a river with a beautiful big wide walkway and cycleway. I've actually been for a cycle with my partner this morning. We did about 5Ks, I think, before breakfast. And we went right down the walkway, down 
followed the river right down to the heads, which is where it goes to the sea. And beautiful way to start a morning. Um, quite often I go and there's grass all along the wa waterway by the water. And I walk on that wet grass in the mornings. And that is so grounding. It is so good for you. If you can get out in the mornings and walk barefoot on the grass or on the beach, any time of the day, it doesn't matter. Nature is one of the major parts of healthy living. Fresh air, sunshine, okay, don't lie in the sun and get burnt, but sunshine, water, very important. Healthy living, good whole foods, rich foods, um, you know, your veggies, you pick them out of your garden. <laughs> and one of the biggest things is relationships. If you're not in a healthy relationship, I say work it out or get out. It can be the most toxic thing in your life. If your relationship is not going right, it's not good. And people stay together for all of the wrong reasons. My ex-husband is now with his first ever girlfriend. So he got over it. And, and it wasn't because he was a nasty man. He's a lovely man. But we were going in different directions and we weren't. Yeah, I wasn't happy anyway. So, and things work out um, as they're meant to. Hmm. So stay healthy. Think of the people you're with. If you actually think of the five people that you spend most of your life with, put yourself in the middle and that's you. Yeah. That's true. That's so Stay true. Stay away from negative people if you can. Yes. Create Don't your own sanctuary. And when you were talking about being by the water, I w it reminded me of Dr. Emoto. Um, oh, yes. So I got to interview Dr. Emoto. It was amazing. He's just, mm. he was just because he's passed away now, he was the most humble man. You know, it mm -hmm. was all about the water and the love. He, you know, he believed that because we're 80% water, that um, if we write no, love on emotions. our water bottles, you know, that will bring... I have got it on mine. Yes, we'll bring... I've got a big glass water mind. bottle with a tap on it. It's got love, gratitude, joy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, peace on, yes. on my water bottle and crystals in it. And I put it, if you heard the whole pono pono, um, putting your yes. water in blue bottles. I've been doing that for years, since yes. oh, 12, 15 years. Put it out in the sun for over an hour and then put it into my crystals with the love all over it. And it, it's the elixir of life. <laughs> it is the elixir yeah. of life. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so if anyone out there wants to look up Dr. Emoto, um, amazing. It's amazing. Oh, I love it, yeah. Absolutely amazing. So, Ray, when as we're coming towards the end of the interview, I'm wondering, is there anything that your heart would like to say that I haven't asked you? Live your authentic you. Be you. Follow your heart and use your intuition. We don't use our intuition enough. We think, oh, no. You need to listen to your body. Don't listen to your mind all of the time, as I said. Question it. But look after number one. And if you need help, get it. There are so many people out there to help you these days. Yeah. That's really so, beautiful, Raymond. Really beautiful. And there is a yeah, lot of help out there. Oh, there is. And one thing I've always said, and I think last time you interviewed me, I think we did a, um, a little breathing in through the heart space. If you actually take and close your eyes, smile, and take in a big deep breath, and feel that smile go through your head, your heart, your body. It's amazing because smiling, number one, in, it releases happy hormones in you endorphins and it's just an amazing feeling when you hold on to that and feel it through your body one of the best ways to get rid of stress and then just let the stress out and just take a few big deep breaths and close your eyes so you haven't got the distractions smile 
and feel it in your heart, in your mind, in your body. It's a beautiful feeling. Ray, when I um, walk the beach of a morning with the sunrise, I just love the sunrise. So I'm going to do that tomorrow when I'm walking on the beach on the sunrise. It's such a beautiful thing to do, to take a smile into your heart. It is. It's lovely. And when you smile, when you give someone a smile, you're giving love. You are giving love. And it's not taking away from you. you Sometimes you smile at someone and it's just making their day. Yes. It's just, you know, they need it. So smile at everyone you see. That's and in cool. fact, Ray, when with the masks on, um, you learn to smile more with your eyes. And I would use my hand to wave as I smiled to make mm -hmm. sure that people knew that I was smiling at them. Um, because we wore masks here for 100 days or some incredible amount like that inside, outside, everywhere. So, um, you know, we lost the ability to actually smile at each other in the normal way. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good thinking, Robin, yes. And, and your eyes do sh shine when yeah. you smile, so, yeah. They do shine. Just a um, one little thing just to let you know what I'm actually working on at the moment, Robin. Oh, yes. And it's been, it's been in my back of my mind for quite some time. There are so many children hurting in, in the world at the moment. I'm actually talking to some children in India this afternoon, but I'm going to write a book, and you would have heard of Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT. Yes. yes. I want to create a book for children in New Zealand and Australia, hopefully. Well, we can go across the world, I don't care, but I wanna get it into the education system and, and teach children. There's so many children that there's so much ADHD and, and autism and damaged children from abuse of alcohol and, and drugs, um, bedwetting, uh, and, they feel so small, they feel angry, they feel sad, they feel whatever. And to be able to help them tap through that. Um, so if anyone has got any suggestions on graphics or anything to put in it, hey, send it on in. <laughs> so how They're can they contact to... how can they contact you, Raywin? Okay, email Raywin R A E W Y N at Raywinweller.com. If they're in New Zealand, they can call me or anywhere, but 021-148-1334. Or you can go onto my um, website, ravenweller.com, and put in a, a, a request there or send me a message. Um, there's lots of ways. On my Facebook page, Your Health is Your Greatest Wealth. Hmm. Many ways. Uh, it's just been a pleasure um, to talk to you today, Raywin. And um, I, for one, feel inspired just from listening to you for this half an hour. So I can imagine that people who read your book will be able to just open it at that page and read whatever it is that they need in that moment. I, I'm not a good person for reading a book from the beginning to the end, but often I open it up to the very thing that it is that I need you in need that to, moment. Yeah you need um, one of the one very important thing I haven't mentioned in there is reprogramming the subconscious mind and how that do you is, do that the I do it every night now when I go to bed and I've got a cancer patient and he just texts me to say oh my spleen's clear at the moment and <laughs> it's, he's turning his life around because he is using my book and I've taught him how to use a pendulum to clear energies and things but to reprogram your subconscious mind as you're going to sleep or when you're just waking up in the morning your conscious mind sort of not come to and your subconscious mind is very absorbed it absorbs everything that you're actually thinking and saying so you actually say to yourself the infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind created every part of my being. And I know it knows how to heal my body. It created every organ, muscle or tissue, bone, every system within me. 
and I give thanks for the healing that's taking place. And yeah, it goes on. And I, yeah. So there's a, a short bit, and you say it four times over. So say it again, and right? It's one? Telling you, I'll read it out, okay? It's That'd on page lovely. 289, okay? I even lovely. know what page it's on. Lovely. Okay. Every part of my body was created by the infinite intelligence of my subconscious mind, and I know it knows how to heal me. It formed every organ, tissue, muscle, bone, and system within me. The infinite healing presence within me is transforming every part of my being, making me whole and perfect now. It is taking every atom, every cell in my body back to its original DNA coding. I give thanks for the healing I know is taking place now and will continue to do so. The works of the creative intelligence within me is amazing, and so it is. That is beautiful, Raywin, absolutely and, beautiful. And my gentleman who has turned his life around um, swears by it. And he's actually teaching, he's got a brother over in Australia and he's been teaching him how to use a crystal and to read this and, and things. So it's re that's my mission is to teach people how to heal themselves. And they in turn teach someone else. They're like my little <laughs> followers that, you know, spread the word. And there's another, there's another one here. It's a, a cleansing prayer and it's based from the old Ho'oponopono um, yeah. Hawaiian traditions. And this is for, oh, it's, it's amazing how it actually affects you and the other person. And if you've got something major wrong with you or someone's really bugging you, things aren't going right in your life at work or something, and there's a lot of people at the moment with that, you go spirit super conscious because you're talking to your super conscious. Please locate the origin, the feelings of my thoughts of, and you put your issue in. Okay, take each and every level, layer, area, and aspect of my being to this origin. Analyze it and resolve it perfectly with universal or God's truth, whatever your deity is. Come through all generations of time and eternity, healing every incident and its appendages based on the origin. Do it, please do it according to universal or God's will. And until I am at present filled with love, light, and truth, universal peace and love, forgiveness of myself for my incorrect perceptions, forgiveness of every person, place, circumstances, and events which contributed to this, these feelings and thoughts. And you say that four times over as well. And believe me, it works at both ends. On Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful, Ray. Everything's energy. Yes. Everything is energy. Everything and is I mean, energy. I can do healing with someone in Europe. Yeah. Um, because it's energy. Yeah. Mm. Well, what a wonderful interview, very inspiring and heart-centred. And I suggest that people get your book because it sounds wonderful. Your health is your greatest yes. wealth, your journey to a vibrant, healthy mind and body, Raywin Weller. Raywin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me on your show. It's yeah. great being here. So my I name is... Oh, pleasure. My name is Dr. Robin Mills from Humanity's Heart, and I hope that today Raywin and I have inspired, engaged your heart in some way and expanded you so that your life can be whatever it is you'd like it to be today. So until we meet again, may your heart beat to the rhythm of Humanity's Heart.